What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art video, man. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time your boy drops some heat. In today's video, I will be giving you guys a full walkthrough for beginners on how to make a cartoon head. So without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Okay, first thing you want to do, drag and drop your picture. Um, come up here to opacity and bring it down some so your line work can sit perfectly on the top. And also my artboard, the size I'm using is 18 by 18 inches. You always want to do even numbers so it can fit perfectly inside of Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I dropped my opacity down. And another thing too, when you're resizing your photo, make sure you hold shift so you don't distort your picture. So hold shift as you drag the edges. So, okay, I got it. Got a nice size I want. We're gonna lock that picture layer and we're gonna come down here to create new layer. We're gonna create us a new layer. Then we're gonna come up here to new definition. And what I'm finna do, I'm finna create the pressure option for the brush. The only way you can get your pressure option is if you're using a digital art tablet. I am using a Wacom uh, Cintiq, and I will have a link in the bio below, in the description below. So if y'all wanna go purchase the same digital art tablet that I'm using, I'll make sure I put that link under this video. Okay, come up here to new brush, hit okay. Then you wanna go to fixed at the bottom, and then you wanna click pressure and change these two bottom numbers to three. And then after you do that, you go to your brush and you should have a pressure option. And all it is is when you press down firm, your, your lines get bigger. And when you do light pressure, your lines get thinner, you know? And that's just the only little brush y'all see me use in every video is just the pressure option. Okay, what we're gonna do, the way I would approach this video, we, I mean, um, the way I would approach this picture, we're gonna put the hair on its own layer. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna draw the face completely bald. You know what I'm saying? So let's start out with just tracing his face. Make my brush a little thicker. And also when you're doing these cartoon heads, Gotta make sure you're closing your lines off. So when you're using that paint bucket method, it's not, it's working for you, you know what I'm saying? You gotta make sure all your lines is closed off. Or you're gonna be mad at the very end of your picture, man. Okay. So we just, Going through, doing some clean lines. Also, if you having a problem and you're struggling making clean lines, what you wanna do is double click your brush and make sure you move your smoothness up to your liking. And what this is gonna do, this is gonna help correct your lines as you draw. So you just gotta find out what works best for you. I keep mine in the center. You know what I'm saying? Because if you move pretty fluently and you flow through, your lines will come out clean. So, so as I'm drawing, if you look closely, it's giving it a little correction. So it's helping me out a little bit. But if you need more help, just move that smoothness up. Okay, bring this over like that. We're going I hate this little pop up on the side. All right, we're gonna come to this other ear and we're gonna do the same thing. Let's go ahead. Dang, I can't stand that little, can't stand that little pop up. All right, let's go closer to these eyes. Go like that. Bring this over like this, and I'm gonna make sure I close this line off. It's very important. Everything you do, you wanna make sure you closing your lines off. Okay. We're gonna 
like it right there. And we're going to bring this over like that. And we're going to come on this side. We're going to do the same exact thing with this side. We're going to bring it over. Make sure we're closing. Make sure we're closing our line off. You know what? I can bring this line a little closer up. Okay. Then we're going to curve it right here. And we're going to bring this over like that. Okay. Got a little crease right here. this over like this and the more you do it you guys the more fluent you will get at it it'll I know y'all probably looking at this video and thinking I'm moving pretty fast but it's just repetition I've been doing it so long so it just the more you do it it become easier So don't let it discourage you. Okay, bring this up like that. And we gon' do this little nose like that. Okay, cool. Nah, I can do that little line with the shadows. Let's just keep it on this side. Okay, cool. We gonna draw these lips. Make sure we do look lines like this on the side boom and just like I told y'all one thing I keep in mind I make sure I close my lines off so I'm closing I'm closing all these little lines off so we don't have no problems Scale back, look at what we got so far. All right, come over here, let's add a couple of these little creases. All right. So I gotta move the camera. All right, we good, we good. Okay, bet. Um, now, just like I told y'all, we're gonna put the hair on a whole new layer by itself. So all I'm gonna do is just create a jawline. And it ain't gotta be even because you gotta keep in mind all that's gonna be covered by hair. So let's just do it like this. And the reason I'm putting the hair on, on a layer by itself because it's a different color from my line work. So if his hair was black, I would have put it all on the same, same layer. So now what I'm finna do is, you guys, move this color black to the top. Make sure the bottom one is locked. Come over to your pencil tool by right clicking your brush, and then make sure your settings inside of your pencil tool look exactly like what you see here. And you want to hit OK. And now we finna come back to the eyes and we gonna fill this in just like this. We just gonna trace the outline of the eyes and then we just gonna witness it get filled in just like that. Boom. And we gonna come to this side and we gonna do the exact same thing. We gonna trace the out, outside of it and close it off. And then we gonna come up here to the top just like this. We're gonna do it just like that. You feel me? Now, what we can do, let me zoom in and make sure I'm closing these lines off. Okay. Go back to my brush tool. Just make sure. Always make sure you're closing your lines off. Alright. Now, Let's go ahead and start working on that hair. So we're gonna create a new layer right above the line work layer. And since his hair is blonde, 
But we gonna start with like a dark brown for a base tone. So a base tone to the blonde would be like a dark brown. Like a, a like a gold. Like a goldish, a goldish brown. And we can always tweak it. So go back to your pencil tool. And now the brush tool and the pencil tool, it, it, it really come in handy, especially this uh, pencil tool. Cause I, this is what I use to do my shading as well. But right now we gonna trace the eyebrows with this pencil tool. And you see how I'm doing it? It's like a little technique. I'm acting like I'm drawing out the hairs And when I'm done, it's going to fill it in. Oh, man, I forgot. Wait, let's select that. Make sure you, you got to make sure you had it, your color at the very top and the bottom one locked. So that's one thing I almost forgot. Let's go back to the pencil tool and finish filling this in just like that. And what I'm going to do is so I can see the hair a little better. Let's uh, unlock our picture, the photo that we're copying, and let's bring that opacity up. Let's bring it up a little bit so we can make sure we ain't missing no fine details. Now we're going to lock that layer again and go back to our hair layer. And let's go back to our pencil tool and finish tracing the eyebrows. Let's see. One thing you gotta make sure you do, don't ever pull your hand off of the picture or it'll just stop. So you gotta make sure you keep your hand down until you complete with what you're doing. So, just tracing it, making them. Okay, cool. And I make sure I don't fast forward as much through this video so you guys can see the way I approach different things in real time. Okay, let's come over here and draw out this video just like this. Okay. Boom. This pencil tool will help you cover a lot of ground, man. So that's why I say your pencil tool and your brush tool is all you would need for real. Okay, bring this over like this. And come back that way. Now we're gonna fill all this in just like that. Add the little detail just like this bring this down keep this going like that okay cool so now we got the bottom half let's come add these little hairs right here And this is just the first part. I'm gonna show you what we are gonna do next to make these hairs look a little more detailed. I like to do this for like the base, my base for the hairs. Now, come up to the 
Top of his head up here. And we gonna just feel the sun. Just like this. Nice little base for the hairs. Now, let's go back to our brush tool. And we're going to come back around on top of that. And we're going to add some fine details. So, I'm going to move my brush uh, size up to like a three. You know what I'm saying? And also, I'm looking at the same picture that I'm doing right here on another stream. So I'll be able to see um, details and stuff, so. You see how this worked? We just went back over it. Got some final little detail. Come back over here. This side, add some fill in hairs. together man come back up here we're gonna have some details but you get how I did it we started out with the the pencil tool and now we going back over over everything with the brush tool to give it more detail so the brush tool and the pencil tool go hand in hand they work together Too. 
perfect. Okay, my perfect. Now, we're gonna add these little hairs like this. So I'm just going left and right like this real fast. You know what I'm saying? Give you that beard texture. Here, back to these hairs. Make our breasts like a four. And just add some, some more little finer detail. Now remember what I said? This is just like the base hair the base color for the hair but we still want to make it look as good as possible so that's why we coming back around and adding these little finer details It's flowing. Okay. Let's take a little step back, see what we're looking like. Okay, cool, cool. It's good. Cool is good. We'll do a little more. Uh oh. Do a little more right here. Make our brush a little smaller, like a 0 0.75, so we can get just a different size and give it more variation. finally finished with the hair so we can mute the hair real quick let's focus on this what you want to do is you want to we're going to lock this layer I mean unlock the line work layer we're going to come to our selection tool highlight everything then you want to go to you want to come over here to window and then you want to pull out your pathfinder once you pull out your pathfinder you want to click merge while everything is still selected right, hold on yeah let me select reselect everything I, what i did was hit Control z i had to step back real quick sit merge i wonder why that's disappearing on me Well, let's try to add an extra step because that's disappearing. Let's go to expand. That's what I forgot. My bad, you guys. Select everything. Go to object, expand appearance, and then click merge on your pathfinder. So my bad. Make sure you do that step. I was selecting everything and I was clicking merge. But you're supposed to select everything. Go to object, 
expand appearance and then click merge okay now that we we merge all the lines we're gonna make a copy of our line work by just dragging it and dropping it to the new layer and it'll create a new copy for you let's lock the top layer and this is where purchasing the chi world color palette come in handy i will have a link to my color palette and under this video too so i'm gonna pull out my skin tones and we finna use these skin tones that i created let's see don't pull it out too well skin tones here we go and we gonna start coloring this thing so basically let's start out with the skin tones what you want to do you want to hit this rectangle tool after you just select the color you want to use for the skin tone and you want to drag that color over your entire picture now you want to right click the color i'm gonna show you how it look i'm gonna lock the top layer of the line work so you can see the layer i'm on now i just drag this color over the line work i'm on the same layer as the line work on the second second um copy that i created so i'm right clicking this color right and we're gonna go to arrange and send to back so now it just sent the color behind the line work so now since the color is sitting behind the line work we're gonna highlight everything once again and we're gonna merge the color with the line work so now i just made the line work become one with the color now we're going to right click the color go to isolate selected group now every area that's closed off is going to make it its own group so we can change colors to different areas that's closed off so i'm gonna highlight this select this outer color and we're gonna hit delete because we don't want it and we're gonna click this top lip and we're gonna come over here to my color palette make sure the color is at the top and make sure the bottom one is locked okay so we're gonna hit this layer right here and we're gonna choose the bottom tone for his lip okay now we're gonna isolate select group we're gonna select his eyes we're going to make this white. We're going to make this lip color. And you know what? I, I forgot to make that little black line, but it's all good. You know what we're going to do? We're going to draw it in with the pencil tool. So that's all we got to do. And keep in mind, that's why I saved a, a layer, a copy of the line work. So that's going to fall right on top of that, that imperfection right there. So, bam. Now what you want to do after you get your little base color down, we're going to make a copy of the color layer we just created. And we're going to lock the bottom copy, turn the eye off on the bottom copy, come to the color in the center right here, and hit this drop down menu. And we're going to stroll down until you see your last black line work. And you're going to lock all these layers. Only the black line work. And then these top ones right here, you're going to keep them unlocked. And you're going to close it back. Now what we're going to do out of this layer is only delete the skin tones. So isolate, select group. And we only deleting the skin tone color out of that layer now we can lock that layer turn the eye back on on the bottom skin tone color and create a new blank layer and we're gonna put it between those two two layers we just created right here now this is the layer that i do all the shadows on so you can create how many shadow layers you want to create but make sure you put it in between right here where we got this at so let me um let's start out with a 
a dark tone. And I do all my shadows using the pencil tool. So what we gonna do, we gonna stay steady in the picture. So I'm looking at the photo right now as we speak on my other monitor. And I'm just copying exactly what I see. I'm copying exactly what I see, you guys. Bring this up. This. We just copying all the tones. And it just takes practice, you guys. You'll get better at doing shading and shadows and stuff like that the more the more you do it. So I'm just copying what I see. I make sure I put a little picture on the side of what I'm of the picture I'm drawing so you guys can see me follow along with the photo. Okay. Bring this over. And I just draw out my shadows just like this. He got a shadow right under his lip go down like this and then it come over like this you know what I'm saying also he got a shadow under his beard so to recreate that you just gotta do this and what I can do is I can bring turn the eye on on his hair layer make sure we ain't going too high with these shadows or too low so bring this shadow on up here and bring it all the way over here because all this is shadowed out so we just gonna bring that tone right there and then we're gonna bring this shadow on up like this and it's gonna come over here just like like this and we're gonna leave a little light spot on the side of his face and then we're gonna bring this tone back around to this eye back up to the eye back around here just like that and we're gonna come on around just like this and look we're gonna bring this tone all the way up here to the little wrinkles on his head all right and bring it on down also if you would like to purchase a cartoon head for yourself man i will have my email in the description below also you can hit me up on instagram i charge a hundred dollars to make these cartoon heads so if you want to see your face on one of my youtube videos purchase you a cartoon head man you know what I'm saying? All right, now we're gonna do the shadows behind the hairs right here. Just like this. Bring this on. Bring this on around. My skin tones came in handy, man. We ain't have to take time out to find colors. It was already pre-found. Okay, go right there. All right, let's put some shadows inside these ears, man. I'm telling you, the more you do it, the better you'll get at it, man. Because I wasn't always this fast at, at working on these cartoons so just keep that in mind the more you practice the better you'll be so just put the work in and you can be as great as you want to be okay put that 
there. We need to bring this tone all the way up right here. It right, need to come right there, like that. And this tone need to come a little higher over. And this need to come up like that. Oh, I messed up right here. Cause I took my hand off the picture. Gotta keep your hand down until you are ready to make a a final selection with the pencil tool. But yeah, man, for my shading, as you can see, I only use the pencil tool to do shading. So it's a very powerful tool. The pencil tool. I'll bring this over. So up like that. Come back on this side. Bring this up. Bring that up. Like this. Come back over to the nose. And it's gonna be a little shadow right here. Just like that. Alright. Wait, nah, we're gonna do that shadow with a different tone. Okay, bet. Lock that layer, create another shadow layer right under the shadow, so we're going to tuck. I start with the dark tone, and the lighter I go, I tuck it under the next tone. You know what I'm saying? So it'll fall right behind it. Now we're going to go a little lighter with our uh, shadows. So let's go right here. So we can have that little variation. And that color I need to be adjusted just a little bit because it's showing up as a yeah it's too pink so I'm gonna go to edit color and we're gonna go to uh, adjust color balance and then we're gonna go to CNYK I don't know why I like to use that and convert and we're gonna go to preview and I'm just gonna play I'm gonna play with these little knives until I get the tone I'm looking for. Alright. I think. I think that's it. it. Need to be a little pink, but not too pink. So we're gonna drop it down right there. I think that's cool right there. Bet that's perfect. That is perfect. Alright, let's go to my pencil tool and let's finish adding these little shadows in there, man. Just a little quick tutorial for you guys, man. I hope I covered a lot of bases. This tutorial. Even though this video ain't finished, I'm just hoping this helped you guys out a lot. You know what I'm saying? So let me know in the comments if you made it this far in the video. Let me know in the comments if this video is helping you out a lot, man. And also in the comment section, make sure you leave some suggestions of some videos you would like to see me make next. Some tutorials and I'll make sure I knock them out the park for you. Alright. We're just going through adding these tones. And the reason you want to put every time you go brighter or darker with a tone, the reason you want to put it on its own layer so later on you can adjust the colors without messing up every color. You know what I'm saying? So it's easier to work around when you created more layers. Okay, let's bring this up like this. As you see here. Then we're gonna create the shadow on this side of his head. So bring that up like that. Bring this over like you see there. And just like I said, man, don't be discouraged about how I'm doing these shadows. It took a lot of practice, man. I know a lot of people ask me and tell me, man, I'm not as good as you. 
You gotta work, man. You put in that work, you can be better. it just give it more dimension the more different tones of shadows you add it give it a better a better feel you know what I'm saying so that's all uh, we can add I think we can add one more shadow tone before we go on and we start working on that hair so I'm gonna click another brighter color and let's see See, do we have to adjust it a little bit? Oh. Yeah, we pretty much do. All right, that's too pink. That's too pinkish of a color. Let me come up here, see if I got one. Oh, yep. Yeah. See, I got a tone. That's a nice little tone. All we got to do is go adjust color balance. We need to just add a little yellow in there. And that'll make it. That's it. Perfect. Add, just add, added a little yellow. That's all it need, man. So that saved us so much time. I'm telling you, man, this color palette come in handy, man. Make sure you grab it. Pick it up. Because I still use it. I think I made it like a year ago, a year or two ago. And it's still very valuable. So. Before we finish with this skin tone layer, last thing we're gonna do, man. I'ma wait, I might I might not say that. Let's uh let's go back to the dark tone real quick. I wanna bring I, I wanna bring that up a little more. So let me get my driver tool, select that. I wanna bring this tone up just a little bit more in certain areas. Just like behind his hair right here. We can help that out, make it look a little more full. And bring this down a little more. Bring this up a little more. Right here. And bring this up. More right there. Okay, cool. That's looking good. That's looking good. Now we're going to do a highlight on his face. So we're going to go to this bright tone right here. We're going to create some highlights. You know what I'm saying? A little shine that's supposed to be on his face. Create that. Create that effect. So. that shine man like that okay now we got the shine on his face Let's create another layer right above the dark shadow and we're gonna go just a little darker around these eyes you know what I'm saying just like I said the more tones you add the more detail and the more dimension you give your picture, 
think that was uh that's fine. Okay, that's cool. We gotta we gotta take that red out of there a little bit. So I'm adjusting these colors. I like to adjust my colors a lot. There we go. That's perfect. Perfecto. Oh, damn. I messed up. Moving too fast. Okay. Now y'all see what I was trying to do. Let's bring this over. Bring this palm back this way. Bring this back in this pocket. Bring it this way in this pocket. Like that. Okay. Bring it up. Keep these shadows up a little, a little bit like this. Keep this going. Also, I'm gonna put a little dark tone right there. Right here. We put that dark tone under his nose too. So these little tones come in handy. Alright. I bet. We pretty much got everything perfect, man. I know I went above and beyond with these shadows. We all good. We are all good. Now, we finished with the skin tone. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna create a brand new layer right underneath the top line work layer. So, and I'm gonna click this color out of my skin tone palette so we can do the shadows inside of his eyes. This. I'm gonna come on this side and do the same thing. I'm gonna put some shadows right here. I'm gonna bring that junk over like this. And also, I'm gonna do some shadows on the pink parts of the eyes and the lips. So, let's bring that over. over just like that come down to these bottom lips right here and we're going Alright. 
Now we're gonna create a new layer at the very top of everything. Okay, he got brown eyes. So well, we got our pencil tool selected. Our pencil tool. And we're gonna make this color brown, dark brown. So we're gonna make it known a little bit. And we're gonna create a little cup right here. Just like this. And also, we're gonna go to the color white and create a little glare. Just like that. So now we got the eyes. Got the eyes placed perfectly. And now we finna do last but not least the hair. So I created another layer at the very top. We're gonna come to our swatch library menu and you wanna come over to gradients and we're looking for we're looking for the white gradient with the white in the center and the two opacities on both sides. Okay, now let's find, let's create the color blonde to our best ability, which is gold and a little orange. All right, I think that'll be, I think that's good enough. Now, uh oh. Make it fade out. Okay. Now we're gonna come to our brush tool. Move this color to the bottom. This one you needed at the bottom this time. Okay. And we just gonna draw out our, our hair. Now you see the effect is going now. You see why I started out with the brown base tone. You know what I'm saying? Just the strategy. So we just gonna draw some hairs, make it flow. Come down here, draw some hairs, make it flow. Make all this stuff flow. It's a little time consuming, so I might just speed up this part. But you know what? We just gonna let it play through. It's gonna be a super long video, but y'all deserve it, man. Let me see, bring this over to this. We're just gonna make it flow all kinds of directions. And the more, the more hairs you add, it'll start looking more like real, you know what I'm saying? So, so if it's not looking right, just keep adding hairs, make sure it's flowing. I'm just looking at my photo and I'm trying to make a lot of these pieces of hair flow in a direction as it do on the, the uh, original picture. Also still, but still do my own thing as well. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't gotta be perfect. I'm just trying to give off the illusion. That is blind. We're gonna come down here. Add a little down here just like this. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna come to this mustache. We're gonna add some right here. We'll come down here, do the same. And also too, we need to tweak the hair layer. So I locked every layer so I don't make a mistake and touch anything else. We're gonna highlight this hair layer and let's go to uh, edit, edit colors. And let's go to color harmony. 
let's see can we um give it a little more i need to make it a little more brighter i think Lock that layer back, come back to our hair layer, go back to our brush, and just finish the process, man. Oh, make sure I'm on that layer. Bring my brush a little bigger to like a three. Z. And if you want to keep going back when you messed up, just hold control and keep tapping Z as much as you need to. And that's how you delete any messed ups, mistakes. Fill all that in like that. Mm. Come up here. Come back up here to the top of his head. Make it full. Make it flow. And all you gotta do is just. Like I said, just keep going. The more strings I hear you add, it'll start looking full. Turned up, man. And there you have it, you guys. How to make a cartoon head with your boy Chi World, man. Make sure y'all leave in the comments of any tutorial you would like to see me create. Also, like I said, if you would like to purchase a cartoon head for yourself, you can hit me up on Instagram at ChiWorld1234, or you can hit me up in the email. I will have all that good stuff under this video below. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you stay tuned because more heat coming soon, and I'm out of this thing.